Hey there my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to do a really quick demonstration of how I sharpen my pastel pencils. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial how I use the knife. So this is a Caran Dash pastel pencil and I do exactly the same with all of my pencil stock. So always making sure I've got a nice sharp blade in the knife. Just remove some of the wood around the, the pigment. Obviously, if you only want a, a blunt point to your pencil, then you just use it without sharpening. But for finer details and where you do need to go up to a tight edge or something like that and you need a finer point, then this is how I do it. I don't use a normal uh, pencil sharpener. So just use that to remove some of the wood. I'm going to show on this Carbothello. Just remove the wood round as long as you're nice and careful. The pencil um, itself, the pigmented area, won't break. Just be nice and gentle. And this may look laborious, but it's just sort of second nature because I've always done it, even with my graphite pencils. So, like that, you can you you know remove more or less. And this one is the Derwent, Derwent pencil, the Derwent pastel pencil here. So just popping round there, all the way round, just turn in the pencil as you go. And then I will show you the next step. I've had a, quite a few people asking about this, so I thought oh, I'll just make a really uh, a quick little video I can just upload for you. Okay. So that's the pencil, the Derwent pencil with the wood removed. So just put that to one side, pop these to one side and bring out a piece of fine sandpaper. Okay, so this is the next step. So all you need to do is just pop your pencil on its side, lay it on its side and then roll it from side to side. And as you're going from side to side, turn it as you go. And there you can take it to a sharper point as you want. And just take the dust off with a little tissue. And you've got a nice fine point there. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. I'm filming with my um, iPhone. So let's do the next one. Get a piece of wood out of there. Just got some water because I just want to show you something else as well while we're here. So just get the Carbothello one. Same again, nice and sharp point. I don't know how well that's showing up. Let's move it over there, see if you can see. That's better, showing up, nice sharp point. And last but not least, the Derwent. So just rolling it, moving it from side to side, but rolling the pencil as we go. And again, that's come to a nice sharp point as well. Okay, now then, the pigment that you've now sharpened onto this piece of sandpaper can be used as a paint. Okay, so all you need to do, you can either tap it into the well of a palette or just use it straight from the sandpaper and I will show you how. So all I've got here is some water, it's just deionized water. So I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit, pick up some pigment. You can put that in there if you want, or you can put it straight on the paper. And there you have paint. Okay, let's do, the, do it with the um, Carbothello. So by doing it this way, you can make washes of pigment. And once it's dry, you can then go on with your pastel pencil, which will be the same colour. So it's just different ways of working with the pigment that you have. Okay, and last but not least, I'll do the Caran Dash. I don't know why I whispered then. I'm actually waiting for a new microphone to arrive. It's uh, one of the wireless ones that you put on your lapel. I can't remember the name of it now. There you go. So now you let that dry. You can put make that as pigmented, so as opaque as you want. It will go very opaque the more pigment that's added. But you can build up washes. Um, and then, obviously, you've got the dry pigment that will match. Yeah. 
So you can let that dry and then put detail on top with your newly sharpened pastel pencils. And that's it, folks. OK, hope you find this um, interesting. Any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't already, like and, sh sh Ooh, like and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Bye bye for now. Bye.